is revered as one of the greatest voices and musicians of all time. Well, Louis Armstrong's unmistakable talents put him on the world stage. A new documentary is revealing more about the man behind the music. Do you think you've lost by being born black in a white country? No, I don't look at it that way. Old empty bed. Jazz almost stems from Louis Armstrong. Wish I was dead. Anybody who has uttered a sound on American He's radio. So black. It's because of Louis Armstrong's innovations. Louis Armstrong's Black and Blues is told by those who knew him and his music best, including Armstrong himself. Director Sasha Jenkins joins us now to talk about the film. The documentary has Louis Armstrong tell his own story through scrap diaries. How was it to actually construct this film using his voice, his words? I mean, I tell people all the time, it's like he was the co-director. He left all these breadcrumbs behind. I mean, to hear directly from the man himself, it couldn't get any better than that. So he, his presence is very strong and very strong in the film because he left back, he left behind so much material, so much rich material. What did you know about Louis Armstrong before you even started this project? As a kid growing up in Queens, I knew that he lived in Queens. I knew there was a local school named after him. I knew all the hits, but that's pretty much it. I didn't know much else beyond it that. And you've described him as somebody who was often misunderstood. Yes. What would you say, what do you expect might be revelatory then for viewers? Well, I think um, a lot of black folks didn't think he was uh, had a consciousness or was conscious of what was happening with civil rights and the struggles. And obviously, being born in 1901 in the South, uh, he knew a thing or two about racism and Jim Crow. But uh, he has way more of a consciousness than people uh, ever knew, and I think they're going to learn that in the film. What was most surprising to you about him? He's a Renaissance man. I mean, he's a fine artist. He's a great writer, uh, musician, a singer. He did so many things at such a high level. I can't name anyone in the modern era who has as many talents as Louis Armstrong. How did you decide to choose the rapper Nas uh, to voice this? Well, he and I are from Queens, uh, same part of Queens, went to school together, we're friends. And when I told him I was working on this film, he said, did you know that Wonderful World is my favorite song in the entire world? Wow. So I knew then that he had a new voice. a fair description to say that this is more about the man, less about the musician? Well, you know, there is, you know, I was a music journalist for many years, and there is some musicology in the film, but my philosophy is in order to understand music, you have to understand the people behind the music, especially with black music in America, and so I think the only real way to unlock all of his musical genius is to understand the man himself, so we set out to make a pretty accurate portrait of who he was and how he felt, and that's what we did. What do you hope uh, that the viewers will, will take away from this? I hope the viewers take away from this film that Mr. Armstrong was a real patriot. You think about the Star Spangled Banner, you know, Jimi Hendrix was criticized for playing it in a particular way during Woodstock. Well, uh, Armstrong was playing it in a very particular way 20, 30 years before. And it was a reflection of how he felt as an American. It doesn't make him any less American. He said he played that song with great pride always. Regardless of the way America felt about him or people like him, he still had great pride in being an American. And I think that's a great message for people of all generations. Have you gained a larger appreciation now for his music? I, again, I think, I don't think anyone is as talented, multifaceted as he, but as a musician, what he's innovated is Popular music would not be popular music if Armstrong hadn't done what he did in the way that he sang songs and played his music. Popular music would not be what it is today without Louis Armstrong. We'll leave it right there. Sasha, we thank you so much thank for coming you. on the show. Really appreciate that. Louis Armstrong's Black and Blues is now streaming on Apple TV+. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.